uh, he saw the man coming to tackle him, so he was getting prepared to give himself uh, what you might call a limp leg and spin off the tackle. And just as the time he hit it, he planted his one foot and he got hit. Now, there was no way in the world that Bobby could have prevented that injury. It's just uh, circumstances that happened. Uh, this is the way most of your injuries, I feel, happen. The crippling injuries that ripped through the defending Eastern champions cannot be prevented. And no team can take the jolts Buffalo receives and not suffer. But the inspired play of Joe Collier's defense, when healthy, proves the winning talent is there. Tom Yannick, number 27, playing safety, ties for the league lead with 10 interceptions. The Bills' secondary gives up fewer yards in the air than any other AFL team. Butch Bird, number 42, is one reason why. For four consecutive years, including 1967, George Sames, number 26, has been named to the All-Pro team. Up front, the pressure is always on. But Buffalo's two veteran tackles, Jim Dunaway and Tom Sestak, attack the enemy with vengeance. Mike Stratton, number 58, is named to many all-pro teams. While Paul Guidry, number 59, develops into an exploding linebacker. Defensive end Ron McDole, intercepting an Oakland pass, has one of his finest seasons ever. Overall, the Buffalo defense, though riddled with injuries, is second only to the champion Oakland Raiders. show their strength by stopping San Diego four times from their one-yard line. With a healthy defense leading the way, Buffalo can regain the position that made them the winningest team in pro football from 1964 through 1966. coach Joe Collier. They say every dark cloud has a silver lining. What happened to us in 67 certainly had the form of a dark cloud. Our silver lining hopefully will be the players we were able to get because we picked earlier in the college draft than in recent years. Everyone is excited about the potential of Haven Moses, our number one draft choice from San Diego State. Haven has all the tools to become an outstanding receiver, as the film shows. Richard Trapp, another high draft choice, is known for his ability to gain yardage after he makes a catch. Trapp, Florida's famed number 44, has an unusual knack for getting free from the first tackler. Ben Gregory, who had an outstanding college career in Nebraska, is a fine fullback candidate who can also catch the ball. He is number 22 for the Cornhuskers. And we're pleased with the potential of some of the linemen we drafted too. Players like George's Edgar Chandler, who is very quick and sustains his blocks well.
we know some won't live up to their college reputations others will develop beyond our expectations we had to face another reality last year that is that injuries when they come in wholesale lots can disrupt a team we're not using that as a crutch for our poor record last season there were other factors but just like the championships of previous seasons the 67 season is now passed what counts now is the present, the 1968 season. I'm personally looking forward to it, and I see many reasons why, with our injured players healthy again, the return to form of some other veterans, and the infusion of new blood from the draft, the Bills of 68 will be the Bills of old, an exciting winning team.